Alright guys, today I'm going to show you how to upload a 3D model to colts3d.com. Um, this is where I get most of my files. It has a lot of good stuff on here that I like to look at, um, like this switch dock. That's pretty cool. I might print that one day. But right now, let's go to the upload button right here in the top left corner of the home page. It's going to ask you, are you a 3D designer? And this is where you add a 3D model. Um, there's another button here, but don't worry about that for now. Just click Add 3D Model. And then it's going to show you this new creation page where you put a title, you put the 3D model description, put the settings that you slice it at, and then you get a category, you got tags, you got the file itself right here, and then photos. So I already kind of filled this out right here. Um, I'm going to be uploading a wall hook that I made. Um, I'll, you'll see it in a second, but it's a really simple file. The name is Wallhook. That's what people can search for. Here's my description right here. I designed this simple Wallhook in Blender because I wanted to hang more of my coats up. No supports and easy to print. Mine printed in less than 30 minutes, and most screws will fit inside the hole. Happy printing. I greatly appreciate all the support. Thank you so much. So that's like my description, and then it has like a link to my other ones, my other files. And then it also has my Instagram, and that's about it for that. And then 3D printing settings. Basically just put in like important settings that you used to like 3D print this thing. So for mine, I didn't really care about quality because it's just a wall hook. So I use 3.3 millimeter layer height and no supports because you don't need supports. And I also noted that you have to print laying on its side for the best durability and faster print time. For category, this one's kind of hard to choose, so it could be like home or architecture or a gadget or tools. I selected tools, but I might um, I might change it to home. I feel like more people will use the wall hook if they search for home category. And then the tags are just something else somebody can search for. So like if someone searched for wall hook, it will come up, hook, hat hook, coat hook, or any kind of hook, I don't really know. But you can probably put more tags on your model and probably get more views. Um, like I can do like hang, like hanger or hang up. Like whenever someone will search those um, keywords, your object will be in their search results. So. Um, I don't know, maybe like a key holder or key holder or like key ring hook or something like a ring hook, key hook. It shows you a couple examples right here. So, um, this is the big part. This is where you actually add the file that you made onto the website. So here you just drag and drop your file have it right here, just drag and drop. And I've already done that, so I'm just gonna delete it. Um, photos, you wanna take good photos, nice, bright pictures of your object. Um, you don't wanna be like super dark and like really low quality. Um, not as many people are gonna look at it. It's more common for people to click on brighter photos. Um, maximum limit is 10 megabytes and JPEG and PNG and also GIFs. A lot of people do GIFs on this website. So if you have like an articulated model, like a dragon, you can have a GIF of it like articulating or moving around or whatever. A lot of people do that. So after you've added all of that stuff in, press next. And this is where you could make some money possibly, but this one's gonna be free. Um, so here's this is where you set the price and the license. Um, here's some info right here that you can read um, about pricing. Generally, like a couple dollars for a file is a good price. Your commission, your revenue, you can add a discount too, uh, which is pretty cool. So you can go to free. So this is basically telling people what to do with your model. So license for free designs, yeah, non-commercial. And then that's about it, click publish. 
And now there you go. I got a 3D model on Colts3D.com. You can see my pictures right here. This is the wall hook I was talking about. I don't know why the pictures look so bad, but they look all right when you click on them. So yeah, there it is. There's my description. There's my 3D printing settings. You go to my profile. And now you'll see it right here. I got a, some other ones right here. That's about it, guys. That's how you upload a 3D model to Colts3D.com. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys learned something. And I'll see you next time.